Hi everyone, I'm going to make an original page today in my mixed media notebook and I'm starting with the background and I'm using chalk pastels because I want a very light uh, cover uh, in the background. I don't want a, a lot of uh, color and I'm just taking some dark blue for the edges like so. and a lighter blue on the inside and a lighter one <laughs> and I think I will use a little bit of yellow here very gently and now I'm taking a baby wipe and I'm going to move from the lighter color outside like so and I'm trying to keep the darker color on the outside more to frame my page and for added dimensionality and I'm flipping the baby wipe if I think that it's just uh, too much uh, pigment on it and just keeping uh, blending it until I'm satisfied with the result so this is a uh, what I've got and now I want some stamping in the background and let and I've got all these uh, lovely flowers and uh, in terms of stamps I'm just thinking now how I'm, I'm going to do it because I want yellows and uh, orange in the background and I don't have a stamp pad in these colors so I'm thinking I'm gonna use acrylic paint let's see it's a bit of yellow and I'm hoping I can do it without smudging everything let's see yeah so very gently with my finger I'm taking acrylic paint and stamping of course I will have to clean it when I'm finished as fast as I can you don't want the acrylic paint drying on your uh, silicone stamp Okay, so I've got the yellow, let's see, a little bit of orange now, I'm taking a bright orange deco art, and I'm mixing it with what I've left from the yellow, and here we go. So I'm uh, just for now I'm just uh, cleaning it with the baby wipe Be afterwards I will uh, give it a good rinse on a, in water and changing for another uh, stamp
I don't really care if the, the print isn't uh, crisp it's just details in the background to give more interest more texture to the page so don't really care and I think I'm gonna change again just give it a little bit of cleaning don't want to ruin it and let's take this one so now I'm I think I'll just put a little bit of red into the uh, orange and again just with my finger I think this is enough for my background again cleaning as much as I can with the baby wipe now I'm going to uh, take this aside and let it dry now I'm going to work on a piece of scrapbook paper just because well this I don't like uh, the scrap this uh, scrapbook paper and it uh, on the other side it has a lovely uh, cream uh, color and I want to uh, use it for a painting paper and what I'm planning is taking the same colors the bright red these are uh, acrylics deco art so I'm taking the bright red the bright orange and this is a go golden road and with a um, sponge I'm going to make me a painty paper which I'm going to of course use on my uh, art journal page I'm also letting them mix a little bit then you get shades in between the yellow and the orange it's a good thing that I didn't pick a white uh, paper because now I don't have to worry about complete coverage I've got this lovely uh, color coming in uh, through now I'm taking a little bit of the red and I want to use it very gently I don't want it to uh, overtake the yellow and the orange and if it will be too prominent I will just go in again with the yellow and the orange and tone it down so dipping into the yellow going over and everything mixes together and a lot of shades in between and I really like it I think just a little bit more yellow and 
and that's it so now this needs to be, uh, dry also and I need to clean my sponge and my uh, stamps so I'll be back I'm back so everything is dry now I am going to tear this apart <laughs> and uh, let's see I'm going to I want some uh, strip that will go here and I'm just starting and I'm deliberately trying to tear it apart not straight and in some irregular wavy line that's what I want a little bit here I want to take something like that and again Here we go. So let's see. I am going to take a little bit here. Yeah, something like that. So I've got here, I don't need all of it, so let's trim, just placing it, not measuring or anything. Yeah. I'll just take, I'm going to, I've just, um, cut it a little bit more and I'll uh, glue it, place it and then uh, I'll trim the excess. It's better that I will have a little bit more than when I'm going to put it down I'll uh, find that I don't have enough Little bit more glue here didn't go uh, all the way to the edges and I think it's glued crookedly so I'm going to fix it let's see I feel like I don't have enough glue here don't know what's happening today. <laughs> Let's put more glue. I think the I don't have a wide enough a hole for the, this uh, glue. That's why. Never mind. I'll fix it later. Okay, let's hope now it will work. place I can trim the excess and let's see now I want uh, flowers from the same uh, 
painty paper and I'm using a punch but you don't have to you can cut whatever flower you like let's see one oh, I hate when this happens next I'm just going to put some glue in the middle I don't care if the whole flower is glued down it's enough for me just so it will stay in place and now I want a permanent marker and at first I thought of using black now I'm thinking of using blue let's see I blue 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 I've got blue permanent marker let's see just going like this and switching for another this one works Yeah, that's what I had in mind, don't know why. <laughs> don't know why I needed the strip, the torn strip in the middle. It's just something that I, was, I had in my head and I had to make it and <laughs> that's it. Now I'm thinking that just maybe doing another one here and let's see if I'm putting it like this yeah I think I'm going to add another piece here let's see need to trim it a little bit And now some glue again. Very simple page, but got stuck in my mind. Sometimes I've got an idea, get stuck, and I just have to do it. No matter how simple. Okay. It's in place, a little bit trimming here. Yeah. I thought about doing the edges but I'm thinking this is it I don't want to ruin this <laughs> I don't know composition whatever to call it I like it I'm leaving it be I just want some uh, some writing maybe here so I'm going to look for uh, something to add here and I'll be back I'm back so using uh, I've got momento nautical blue ink pad and I've got a stamp 
with a writing that I'm going to stamp now. Let's see that I'm in, in place. And here we go. Well, flowers bloom, so does hoop. That's what I wanted. So this is it, quite a simple page and quite fun to make, I think. So this is it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for leaving the comments below and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.